welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I'm going to try and make this as full of a weekly vlog as I can. I feel like I've been non-stop to start off this week though. It's already Tuesday afternoon and I have some things to catch you up on and then we'll just continue on with the rest of my week. I just really want to jump in and get started with the vlog because I posted my last weekly vlog or second last one to what you've seen last night and you guys have commented really lovely things and it makes me so happy and I do really love the structure of weekly vlogging and um yeah I've missed it and it's really good really fun to keep you guys up to date and anyway basically I feel like I'm only playing catch up now and just getting set up for my week and I have a get shit done afternoon right now um because today I worked 5am to 2.30 at the coffee shop and yesterday I worked for Ali, my PA job, who is now living on the Gold Coast. So luckily enough, well, actually, I had a really unproductive weekend because we were still in lockdown, but then it lifted on Sunday. So I went straight to the Gold Coast as soon as I could, got to see the guy that I'm seeing, stay with him, and then work for Ali on Monday. And then I saw the guy again and finally got back home last night. Um, so yeah, I didn't really like get to set myself up for my week how I usually do do my groceries my washing like all the boring adult stuff that just like set you up so that you're not like running around like a headless chicken all week so that's what I feel like um but yeah then I had to go wake up early and go straight to work today also I just got back from getting my nails done I went straight there after work this is the first time I've gotten like a design instead of of solid color awesome this is really not doing there we go now you can see them it's like a peachy apricot color over the top of like a clear and the acrylics they're not my real nails lol they're so pretty though so yeah that was good obviously not essential but one of my nails was missing and um they were outgrowing themselves and i just like to be you know nice and pretty and keep them maintained so i did that i got myself some cheeky betty's burgers which i shouldn't have but whatever it's fine um, and now I'm home and I'm about to get changed and go to the gym because now that lockdown is lifted, gyms are open and I will never take them for granted ever again. <laughs> so I'm going and getting back into it. I didn't go last night just because I got home so late and I had so much to do and I wanted to get to bed early because I have 5am starts every day this week. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to share with you guys. I also need to do a load of washing and get some groceries. I think they're the most important things that I need to squeeze in before I have another early night. So we'll see how we go. Hello everyone. I just saw my camera in my gym bag and it reminded me to vlog because I forgot when I was at the gym. But it was... Why is my camera not very ring? Um, It was a very mediocre session. I did like... How much was it? 10 minutes on the treadmill to warm up, which is what I always do. Then I did some booty band exercises. I did some really light deadlifts, some really light front squats, um, hamstring curl, and then 15 minutes on the stairs. And that was it. Because my head was not in the game. My head was like literally everywhere else other than at the gym, which was totally fine. But like I wanted to do um, some stories for Naked Harvest while I was there, sort of in progress and like during it. I wanted to like make sure I got the content. And then I was also obviously not thinking enough about vlogging because I didn't vlog at all. Um, but I also like set myself little tasks to do while I'm on the treadmill at the start and on the stairs at the end. And then I like, like to try and like reply to messages or like I'm like replying to a lot of friends at the moment, making plans for like later in the week and like catching up with heaps of people because I haven't seen people in ages. We've been in lockdown and I've been spending a lot of my weekends at the Gold Coast with this guy. Um, so I have lots of friends that I haven't seen in a long time that I'm organizing stuff with. So it just was one of those sessions when my mind was just not in it, but I still feel good. My heart rate got up really high on the stairs at the end so I feel like I did work out like I did um and it was there I was there for like an hour fluffing around for most of the time um and now I'm doing my groceries for the week I guess it is a Tuesday but whatever I need my mask and my bags um but yeah I always go to the or I like to go to the gym before I do groceries like in that order because it makes me feel extra healthy and then I'm way less tempted to buy shitty food because I'm like in my active and I've just worked out and like got the endorphins going so yeah hey guys just wanted to quickly film and say I'm in bed now I finished I almost finished my moon milk 
while I was on the phone to the guy that I'm seeing and that was really good and now I just am journal and med journaling and meditating because I've promised myself I would do that every night um, this week because I've been feeling, feeling quite overwhelmed. I feel heaps better now than what I did before but you wouldn't even know it anymore. <laughs> I literally feel so much better after that but I am... Um, I had a big cry on my way home from Woolies after the gym. Like full ugly cry sobbing. I had to pull over and just like give myself a second. So I didn't really feel like filming anything when I got home. But I'll show you a little pan of my grocery haul. Um, I'm, mainly, I'm only home for three dinners this week. So Tuesday night, which was tonight, Wednesday and Thursday. And then I've got dinner out Friday, Saturday, and then I'll be at Jackson's on Sunday. So, yeah, I didn't really need to get anything, but I got those sausages, and I just had sausages and veggies for dinner tonight. They were pretty good. And that is everything. I start work at 5 a.m. again tomorrow. Same shift as today. And, yeah, I'm ready for bed. Hey guys, I'm home from work now. I did 5 till 2.30 again. I had my chicken avo cheese toasty for lunch with a caramel milkshake, which I need to stop doing. It's so naughty. If every time after I have it, I think about how much sugar I end up having while I'm at work because there's ice cream and topping in it and I get syrup in my coffee. I need to cut it out. But anyway, I had that for lunch. And I'm home now. It's 3 o'clock and I have a little gym date with my bestie Abby who I haven't seen in so long. So I'm just in my active mode. This is like an older do you even set. I love it. It's one of my faves. And I've put some strawberry coconut BCAAs in my Naked Harvest shaker. It's obviously Naked Harvest as well. Um, I haven't had time to have pre-workout or anything. I don't really feel like I need it but I also haven't had time to eat anything since my lunch break. So... I'm going to need the extra energy. Wow, that's so red for me rushing around. But yeah, I'm going to go now. I think we're going to do arms and it is going to be fun. We might even do a little walk as well or something. But yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, I finished at the gym. Abby and I did a nice little walk around the area, like around the water before and after we did a good arm session it was actually pretty good because we just like superseded exercises so we we're both working out at the same time next to each other and chatting the whole time so we didn't really work that hard but whatever i still feel good about it and oh my god guys i've been having the mango pineapple flavor a lot lately but the strawberry coconut flavor so good tastes like lollies honestly um i'm about to just clean out my car i've got so many bloody disposable face masks i need to get rid of i've got shit in the boot um, because I really want to get my car properly washed at, like, the car wash at the shopping centres, like, when they do it for you. Um, and, like, probably inside and outside because I haven't had it washed in, like, a year. <laughs> Lol. That's so bad. Um, but, yeah, I want to be productive tomorrow and go straight to the shops, get a few things while it's being washed and all that after work because I have a shorter day tomorrow. So, I need to set myself up well and clean up all the stuff now. Because I'm not going to do it at 4.30am tomorrow when I get in the car. Okay, so I cleaned up my car, put on some washing, I made some dinner. I actually had eggs and avo on toast as like my post-workout. But then I pretty much made this straight away after I put my washing on. Because I'm so hungry and I need to eat like way more because I only ate once during my break at work so far so I've got little sausages and bread and some veggies super random super lazy girl vibes but like I don't even care um and now I'm already at my desk ready to go and I've imported my footage to edit my next vlog and I was starting to get a little bit overwhelmed again so I was just like checking my calendar and like planning my afternoon for tomorrow because I finish at 11 so I want to optimize that daytime where I have time <laughs> to do things so that'll be really good. Hello everyone, I'm sorry for the choppy and changey quality in this video. I've been really slack with them remembering my camera at different places and this well, the sunshine is just, it's very intense. It's actually turned into a really nice day today. I finished my 5 to 11 shift, which is awesome. Wild to think that that feels like a really short shift compared to all my other days. 
um but i didn't even vlog anything else last night because i was so tired i couldn't keep my eyes open i didn't even edit like i was meant to um i just had a shower and went to bed didn't even do my nighttime routine properly oh i was so tired so so tired and i slept in this morning and was like five minutes late to work which i never do so i hate that for me I really just feel super behind in everything, including sleep this week. I didn't even put mascara on this morning. Like I had to literally roll out of bed into my clothes and into the car. So yeah, I'm not super prepared, but I'm so glad I cleaned out my car because I am going to feel so much better. And like I've got my life together because I also didn't wash my hair. But you know, my nails are done. I'm going to get my car washed. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping. I want to just get myself just a couple of things. I want to get like a candle book my laser because I've never had laser hair removal and I want to do that um and yeah I'll probably just show you what I get once I've gotten it because I can't remember off the top of my head um but yeah that's pretty much it you were always taking time baby playing with you Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like my live reaction of seeing my car clean. I wish, oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> Sorry, it's dark because I'm seeing in a car park. <gasps> I wish I took like a proper before video. I can't believe I didn't do that for the vlog. It would have been so cool. Like the door jams, like when you open the door, everything was so filthy and it smells so good. It's so clean. I wish you could see, but look at that. It's only $55. Everything's so clean. I mean, I didn't get like a proper detail. So like, it's not like 100% like spectacular, but it's so much better than what it was. Like, oh my goodness. Well, hello everyone. So, just thought I'd show you what I got. Also, I'm gonna show you my car when it's like next time I'm there, when it's a bit brighter and easier to see. Cause I love it so much. If you're the type of person that leave stuff in your car forever and never cleans it. I know there's two types of people, either that or people that clean it like every week. This is your sign to either do it yourself or if you can't be bothered like me, go get it cleaned while you're at the shops. So good. Um, I also got a Jelly Belly air freshener that I've already put in there. I got a few hair clips, so random, but I just have been feeling so gross about my hair because I just, it's so overdue because I was meant to get it done. I had an appointment booked for the week we were in lockdown. So now my appointment's like two weeks late. And I just haven't been washing it very much. Like I just put it in a bun and like don't even care. And like don't style it. So I was like, I'm going to make it look cute. And put more effort in. So I've got two clips. These ones are from Ruby. They're from Cotton On. I have like one nice one from Cotton On that's like this. But more this colour. Um, so I just wanted a cool variety, you know, and I also got this one from Sports Girl, which I love. I saw this one afterwards, and now I'm, like, kind of regretting getting this one, because I like the bigger one, because I have more hair, but, like, whatever. Um, literally 500 receipts from everything. I also got a new candle. I actually have run out of both of my candles that I always use, but I'm only getting myself one. It's just a Koya Vanilla Bean. It's, like, the medium size one, so it's only $30 from David Jones so delicious i love the packaging but yeah my thing is that i always buy myself a new candle when i move into a new place so i'm only getting one for now and then one when i move and then i got this phone holder attachment for tripods because that's an essential i also found this at kmart impulse buy it's just a little marble dish and it will match my marble incense holder um obviously it's not real and I can put my sage stick and my palo center on there. So like when it's burning or afterwards while it's still hot and ashy. Love that for me. And then some crew socks. Awesome. Some like the seam free G-strings from Kmart because they are so good. And also a new book. Not that I have been reading, but I really, really, really want to read because I have like a hundred books in my on my to read list. So I got the power of now by Eckhart Tolle, I think is how you say it. And I just, it really drew my, drew my attention because I've never seen it as like a hard cover and it's really nice. So can't wait to read that eventually when I do. That's everything, super boring, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna make myself some food. I also had sushi, which you saw, but that was literally my first meal of the day. So I need to have something else and then I need to edit my vlog. 
go to the gym. Um, yes, that is all. Yum, lunch is ready. I'm having a coffee sweet coffee because I'm exhausted. Caramel flavor. My discount code is Ellicate10 if you would like to try. Okay, everyone, I'm finally looking a bit fresher. I washed and dried my hair. I well actually backtracking. I finally got the vlog up, which was really good. I'm actually really happy with it. I really like it. I hope you guys enjoy. I need to actually reply to some of your comments already. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Um, but yeah, I did that, and then I actually went to my dad's house, which was the first time I'd seen him in like at least a year and a half, I think. Which was like obviously a really big step. Um, and it's something that I wanted to do mainly because I did need to pick up something and it was just good timing but also because I do need to like sort of delve into that I guess the trauma that's coming up um, now that I'm like heading into a new relationship um, and it's like the first like serious one since I guess like my parents separated and like all this stuff that like, came up um, so yeah I would never really usually bring that up but it was something that happened and I think it's really, really important for people to share as long as they're comfortable and they're at that point where they can um, about like trauma and healing and kind of not make it so taboo because everyone has it no matter how perfect your childhood was like it's just all a part of life and um, it shows up like later down the track or in different scenarios and in other relationships in your life so yeah that's really big and that's why I need to journal. I've been doing my nighttime routine every night this week except for last night was a bit how you going where I am um, I finish my dinner and come upstairs I'm obviously all showered and everything I have my moon milk just here on my bedside table and I've got my sleep mist as well I spray that I also usually just have my lamp on but I've got my big light on obviously so you can see me and I've got my journal here ready to go and basically I literally sip on my moon milk um while I'm journaling obviously I've got a lot to unpack tonight about how I'm feeling and oh my god guys the timing of having my moon milk while I'm journaling and then finishing it off and then what I do is like by the time I'm finished both it's kind of around the same time like sipping on it and finishing journaling and then I play a meditation like as I turn my light off and fall asleep and it is perfect this literally knocks me out so well and it has 25% of your daily intake like required intake of magnesium zinc and vitamin c which all help absorb the magnesium into your body better oh. it's also the most delicious hot chalky flavor and oh super low calories which is really impressive it's like fully sugar free and it's 39 calories which is so good if that's something that you care about and um, and you want something that's a better alternative than like chocolate after dinner at night time that's literally why i love it so much and it also helps you sleep and if you're training lots that's what magnesium is really good for not only like sleep and your brain health like winding down mentally i listened to a podcast about that actually on the do you fucking mind podcast is really interesting um but also obviously with muscle recovery so physically <clears throat> as well which is why it is so important and i love it's like the stuff my it's my favorite naked harvest product by far and it's the supplement that i find the easiest to take because it literally tastes like a normal hot chocolate it's so delicious so yeah as always you can use my discount code le15 if you want to purchase moon milk or any of the other products on naked harvest this is sponsored by them um but obviously i you guys know moon milk is my favorite product by far and i've been using naked harvest since they launched it is yeah genuinely it's such so beneficial to my life honestly all the supplements they have are all natural and just so good for you so yeah obviously always genuinely sharing my thoughts on the products and yeah my discount code early 15 is always active the link to moon milk and also two very new exciting products that they're currently announcing i think it'll be tomorrow so obviously by the time this vlog goes up you guys will know and i'll be able to share with you tomorrow what it is um but i might potentially be able to link them actually they won't be available for sale yet but yeah i'll obviously be able to let you guys know what that is so that's very exciting but i'll definitely link moon milk down below i highly recommend you can get it in even bigger tubs now which is an essential 
um but yeah i'm just gonna finish sipping on it i have mine with like three quarters boiling water and one quarter milk and that's like perfect temperature i like it nice and hot um but yeah i've got lots to unpack and i need to have a really good sleep which moon milk will help with because i'm working a really big day tomorrow 5 a.m till 3 30 so i'll see you guys then guys i'm having my lunch break in the car because i just didn't feel like sitting outside with all our customers my two toasties amazing i'm gonna be so full and i made myself my own ice latte with a bit of vanilla and i did it myself very proud hey guys i just got home from work I, it's literally 4 p.m i think today was one of the biggest days i've ever had at this new job it's not really new anymore um but yeah we were just so flat out all day and i don't think i've ever done 5 a.m till 3 30. i feel like the latest i ever finish is 2 30 or 3. but yeah so crazy i'm so knackered i literally had two coffees and still felt like i could have had more i feel better now like i felt good towards the end i came home and i'm so proud of what i made sorry someone's wheeling their wheelie bin past i've made myself some little nachos but just with like taco sauce cheese and corn chips because i didn't have any mints or anything but yum i found some a few leftovers of these to tostitos which was so delicious and then i also had a whole bag of these spicy barbecue corn chips the macro ones they're so delish um so that on the bottom is the barbecue ones and then on top is the tostitos like the last few broken ones got taco sauce um melted cheese and i actually thought of it because i had a whole avocado and i was like i really feel like guac and chips like gyg bad so i made myself my own guac i'm gonna put some on top there's little tomatoes in there <gasps> doesn't it just look so freaking good oh my gosh i'm so pleased also got a very exciting package i'm actually oh no i messed it up i actually ordered some things from jim chuck and from saski collection yesterday and i'm really sad they didn't come today but that's okay i did get a very exciting package how good does that look um from naked harvest so i can actually tell you what they are because they announced it on their instagram today so you'll see this vlog on monday and these new products are launching on tuesday my first impression guys i love the colors it's like sunset vibes two new moon, moon milk flavors we've got salted caramel and vanilla maple chai Guys, salted caramel is my favorite flavor in literally anything. In brownies, in slices, in protein, in anything flavored. And that's what I choose. So I'm so excited about that. And also vanilla maple chai. I'm not a chai girl. I don't really like cinnamon. But the fact that it's vanilla and maple as well must be pretty sweet. So I'm very excited. I will definitely be trying these probably in my next vlog and on Instagram and everything as well when they go live. So that is just so exciting um but yeah i'm just gonna eat and then i also have um a birthday dinner tonight it's dylan's birthday my old roommate so we're going out for dinner i'm very excited to actually put myself together for once because i feel like i haven't worn makeup in the longest time or worn anything other than all black hey guys i'm all ready for dinner now i didn't really do anything else at all in between chilling out and getting ready but this is my outfit of the night, super comfy, super simple and casual. I'm actually really loving black and neutrals lately, especially because I feel like I'm so pale that I look really unwell. Um, this is like my most natural, fair pale skin tone with like no fake tan at all. I quite like my makeup, it's pretty glowy. I use the IT um, CC cream, IT Cosmetics. Um, yeah, it's like... I think it's a good color. My skin is just really pink when I'm like hot and flustered. It's just like a really pink tone. Where is that? I don't know if it suits me, but it's nice and glowy. I also tried to like straighten my hair so that it like curves in a bit, <laughs> but it didn't really work at all. I don't really know how to do that. Um, so yeah, this top is Princess Polly. It's really old, but they do still stock it. And they also have it in white, which I just, I love it. It's got like a crossover detail, but it's still super sleek and plain and really flattering and these are the new maple jeans from my last haul i'm just wearing connie's and my new naked vice bag which i really wanted to wear i've never actually worn it out and i just think it looks so fancy so i'm gonna go we're going to 
the Bavarian, which is kind of just like a steak and beer sort of vibe. So not super gluten free friendly, but I think I'm going to like indulge and have like a steak and salad or something. So also my nails stand out a bit because I'm wearing all neutral. Anyway, I'm going to go chill out. I'm so tired, but anyway. Hey guys. Oh my God. I've just rubbed my eyes so much because I'm so not used to wearing makeup again. And I completely forgot to vlog at dinner. Go me. But it was really good. It was nice. Very nice. I lost track of time now, though. And I left at like 9pm. And I'm working 5.30 till 3 tomorrow. Oh, it just never stops. <laughs> I will probably see you tomorrow. Hey everyone. I'm going to finish the vlog off here. I worked all day today. As I said, and it was... A pretty normal Saturday it was good I am taking tonight to rest and do some things I need to do myself I'm gonna put on a fake tan make myself feel a bit nicer and then tomorrow I'll be heading to the Gold Coast for my one day off which I'm very excited about um, and I think I'm actually gonna start a new vlog then because I never ever vlog my Sundays and Mondays I usually start my weekly vlogs on Tuesday so get excited for that and thank you so much for watching I will see you very soon